Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival of this, and we return to Dino Nest. So, the last couple of episodes have been pretty rough. The, the one from, like, not the one before this one, but the one before that, the Adorable Massacre, that one, I admit, was entirely on me. However, last episode was not on me. That was entirely on the game, really being very picky and very oppressive for your start. Because in the entire time that I was playing, we didn't actually get ourselves... Okay, you know what? I'm going to bring you guys up to size. I don't know if... what. Okay, so that does change... Now hold on a frickin' minute. Some of the things we were going up against were doing 11 damage. But we're lucky if we can even get to, like... Wow, okay. Well, that might be a reason why it was so hard to, like, just do anything, but... We'll probably do Tiger Stripe and... Yeah, we'll do these two again. I'm just going to, again, call them 1 and 2. Uh, trait-wise, I don't really... You know what? I'm going to... Increase the rapidity, just because that was nice to get. And one thing for dominance. But, yeah, that... Trying to play last episode was very, very frustrating. So we're going to keep that, everything basically... I'm going to tutorial again, and that should be good there. Because I want to see if the tutorial is actually going to give us a bit more of a increase to the game, or like how we start off with. Because I can't remember if it... Okay, so maybe it doesn't. I'll have to wait and see. Yeah, tutorial, we've kind of seen this before. I don't know if it was just, again, super bad luck. I never found a single one of, the, like, the herbivores for the area. But I do feel like you have to expand the amount of meat you're getting early on. Either that, or you're supposed to be leveling up much more. You're just going to be number three. Okay. Yeah, so then just go through this again. Pretty quick, easy tutorial. It doesn't take very long at all. Send out scavenge. And bring you in to rest to recover from the injury. Yes, yeah, so there's those two. Everybody's back. Okay, so now it's giving us 40 and 10, which I don't think it did before. Yeah, so pack alpha. Yeah, see, I think it actually gave us a little bit extra food. I can't remember if we actually started off with the 40 or not. But we will get that made. And you know what? I think we're going to... Okay, now let's let everybody rest who will. Yeah, so you go out, rest. Uh -huh, you, I guess we'll do lookout for a while. And then we'll take everybody in. I wonder if I should. Yeah, no, we're going to leave and we're going to just go right out and start going to the beach and see if we can get better luck with bees. It was so annoying having only this is what we were coming up against. It really does make me wonder... Oh, lord. Okay. Oh, see, those are... There's deadly rating there. I can't really see what these are. Okay. Oh, okay, I can actually just do these and see what they all are. Um, kind of tempted to go after that one, because it is just the one. And there's no venom on it. Just see, maybe I gotta level these guys up a bit more. Yeah, so it's actually, it looks like easier to, uh, kind of easier to go after the compies. I just noticed the hatchling got themselves pretty beaten up.
And then back to the nest to let... Okay, well, I was going to let that one rest first, so thanks for taking the spot from him. Not enough leaves. Huh. Okay, you know what? You guys all... Go out and scavenge, then. And once that's lowered down, we'll get everybody into... What happened to my leaf stockpile, then? Or did I... No, I didn't put everything into the hatchery. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on with the starting stuff, because... Yeah, that's kind of odd that we didn't have more leaves stockpiled already. I do kind of wish I knew exactly how much of the bar was gone per day for them. Okay, so if I can get a couple more... Man, you guys are not very good at finding leaves. I'll say if I can get a couple more... Okay, so we can stop on that and stop on that. Now we can get that put up. So we got the hatchery together there. Yeah, we'll lay the eggs and then probably hold on to that. Oh. Rivalry between dinos. Pack leader gained dominance. Okay. Okay, so let's head out and get some water first of all, because that's the one that's definitely the big thing we need. Okay, that's what I've been waiting for, though, is to go after one of these guys. We finally found, uh... Oh! Yeah, why couldn't I find more of them if they went down that easily? So, let's try hunting a little bit more again. It might actually be better to use the watering hole than anything else. Let's try to flank and just attack and see. So what is that? Is that going to be... It is one of the snails. Okay. Yeah, like the snails are so much easier than the other thing to go after. Okay, so let's go try getting a drink again, because when we've been here, uh, we're being hunted, but I kind of want to go after that. Okay, get a closer look if I can. Oh, and new discovery. There we go. Okay, so that failed, so we are probably going to just have to go and fight this one. I think we'll actually go after the compy area next. Like, I'll take a look at the codex and see the stats. I think this guy's dangerous more because the venom also has the potency to it. Also, yeah, I've got to kind of uh, recuperate a bit. Okay, so let me take a look at the codex here. I thought it would say how much they do per, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, we're going to head back to the nest because we got to recuperate. And let's see. Yeah, we're going to do strong so that we can get double the amount of meter leaves. Well, I guess technically... Oh, see, but I got to put 20 in just to... We'll put 10 to start. Oh, pack approval is rising, so that's good there. 
So again, I'm going to head out, hunt, and drink. I will start drinking, because there we go. Now let's try claiming that and see. Is it just going to be the one? Yeah, if it's the one copy, we can handle that, I think, pretty well. Oh yeah, very well. Okay, so there's that taken care of. Um, you know what, let's fill our hunger if we can. Try to just stockpile some back. Okay, no, it's not really going to be worth it. And you know what, I'm going to head back to the nest. Okay, you will have lookout. You will have scavenging, because you're going to heal up here. You did get a little bit back, so I'm going to put the five in there. And, you know, I'm going to try for Ancestry instead. I want to see what the six is. Unfortunately, I can't actually preview it until we have it opened as an option. I just want to send you out as well. Try to get you up to maybe 15 there. At least we are surviving past the five-day mark, so I think that was a big thing, is that if we would have found those snails that are just super easy to take down, we would have been much better off. Okay, so I think you guys are good. Everybody's doing good for health. And we'll try heading out and, again, seeing about... No, you know what? Going to try and see. Like, we still have the option, I think, to run away from this. Yeah, we do. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're going to just... You really can't go up against anything. I'm surprised, again, you just are so oppressed at your starting position. I don't know, there's got to be something I'm missing that makes it super easy, unless you do, like, just get yourself up to another pack member right off the bat. Yeah, but that's everybody healed up, so we got to go out, just get more water. Okay, go and stick to the beach. Okay, there we go. And we'll try hunting. Yeah, so it's interesting. They... The combies do have quite a bit more health than these guys, and it's only one damage difference. So maybe we'll keep working here. Uh, I'm going to ignore, because I'm going to try to, again, find... No, we're just going to head out of here. We're going to head back to the nest. No, we have an event here. And let me... Yeah, let's just go into hiding just to stay away from that, because I have a feeling that would have been another massacre on our hands. I really feels at the starting stages a bit too oppressive because you need to find no actually no, I'm gonna try over here I know it's probably dangerous but I'm going to head ov over here and just see ah uh, maybe I can find some of those little archer or cherubis Ah, you know what? Maybe I'll even... I feel like I should actually just stick to the beach, because, like, the over-raptors, I don't think we can actually do anything against. God, there's so much I feel like I can't do anything against, if I'm honest. Like, yeah, these guys are probably micro... I don't know why it's so hard finding them, though. Like, there's supposedly 50%... Uh, 
Okay, that failed. We'll try the vanish. That failed. We don't have any choice, and I can't run away from this either, can I? Okay, so in time, I will be able to. Oh, come. The game is annoying. I'm sorry, but it's just annoying. I'm not able to find any of the herbivores that are supposedly out here. I'm barely able to fight off more than a single one of what's supposed to be the beginning creatures. I don't know what I'm missing or what I'm doing wrong here. So I'm going to... like, I really don't know what I'm doing wrong for this. If I go to hunt and I take this... Okay, so these options, lower threat gain chance or higher threat gain chance, but... So I guess maybe I should be doing the ambushing instead? There we go. Okay, so maybe I'll be do trying the other one. Oh. Well, new area discovered in the forest. I'm going to ignore... Oh, again, like, what are you supposed to do here? It feels like you're completely screwed over by just RNG. Actually, maybe we'll see if we can even take these two down, like... No, we're going to run away. Again, I... It really feels like it all comes down to the RNG being a dick to you. Because there's no way to increase your chances of finding the herbivores, at least not that I've been finding. That's the last little bit of meat we've got there. Okay, so what does this allow? Maximum growth size increased to 13. But these guys, I don't... Hang on a moment. So you're supposed to be at size 6 now, and you're size 5. Like, how are you... So it is depending on how much food they eat that determines their growth. Which, again, falls into the problem of I'm not finding the herbivores in order to actually be able to eat the meat and grow. Ah, oh. I feel like I just got stupidly lucky with the very first episode when I played. I honestly do. Like, I go for this... I try to do the ambush. Like, yeah, I'll just attack that, get what food I can. I don't know what else I could really do to improve my odds here. I, I'll have to look even on Steam and see if there's any discussions about it. Because I really don't know what it is I'm missing. There's got to be something. And I kind of hate this feeling of almost like powerless here. Yeah, so let's fill our hunger so that's at least that taken care of. And we've got to keep hunting. Oh, I think that's a hyena don, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything with that. Okay, but that we are definitely going to go for. That's what I basically needed hour, or well, not hours ago, but long time ago. Because the snails do so little in comparison to anything else. And that's going to be a lot of food we can actually get ourselves stocked up with. Like, 
yeah, if you don't find the snails, you basically have uh, nothing you can do at the very start of the game. I think maybe you have to increase the odds of them? Because otherwise, you are in for a rough go of it. Um, actually... Oh, see, no, I have to... Okay, so when you're in this screen, you actually don't have a way to go back. You have to go hunting for it. Now I'm going to try again, just the ambush and see. I can't actually interact with that. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize we were still that low. Okay, there we go. Like, at least that worked rather well, but... We'll get that, and then definitely head back to the nest. Okay, so if I do go into genetics again... Yeah, so at 9 we'll get something else, but... It feels like you really need more than you actually can get. I don't know how the heck I managed to do so well the first episode, but I guess we'll save here, because at least it's something. Like, we're not exactly doing very hot, but we're still alive at this point. I'll keep playing it another week and see, but I do feel like the start of the game, way too oppressive right frickin' now. You should not be getting only two meat. It should be five bits of meat, or... It just feels like there's something so far out of your control... You're kind of powerless against it, and I don't know how to fix that, or what could even be done for it. It really does feel like, unless you get the herbivores as what you find, and hunts actually do work properly, you're kind of screwed. You can't really go after the carnivores, anything more than one is too much for you. You can't really go to other new areas, because then there's more carnivores, and they're also even deadlier than the first area. It feels to me like they have to really examine getting the basics of the very first area figured out, and then the rest of the game might fall more in line. I think this is a case of, we built too far on top of the foundation without finishing the foundation, but we'll give it a little bit more time, try a couple more episodes next week, and just see how it goes. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Dino Nest. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give us a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, do be sure to leave in the comments right down below. Maybe there is something I need to switch up from what I've been doing, but like I say, it just feels like if you don't find the one thing you need, you're in for a rough go. That's how it's been playing so much these episodes. But hopefully next week it'll spin around and we'll try to recover from the losses we've had. Until I do catch you all next video though, survivors, please remember as always to take care and stay alive.